Hi, I'm Chris Keefe. I am here to demonstrate Chime 2's new provenance replay tools for you. Provenance is the history of a Chime 2 result or analysis, and provenance replay is designed to use the provenance data that gets captured in your Chime 2 results to make scientific reproducibility and comprehensive scientific methods documentation easy. The video that follows was lightly edited from a live demo of provenance replay. It introduces the basic concept by showing a single core feature, which is the ability to replay a Chime 2 result or analysis by generating CLI or Python scripts representing the way that analysis was actually run. Provenance replay is available in an experimental alpha release on the Chime 2 library, and I would like to encourage you to check it out, especially by running the replay reproducibility supplement command on your own analyses and maybe even including the results of that command as supplementary material in your publications so that others can more easily reproduce your in silico work. All right, here we go. Um, so can everybody see on their screen, chime to view on the right, and I've got one thumbs up. So I think we're in good shape. So on the right side of your screen, you see Q2 view. This is that tool that I showed you earlier for viewing Chime 2 results. On the left, you see a file browser. You're probably familiar with these. Um, and the idea here is basically that if I were to drill down into these files, I could find a visualization for Chime 2, like this emperor plot. And I could look at it and see how cool it is and ask some interesting questions about the data and like swivel it around and stuff, right? Um, <laughs> I could also, though, look at this, this figure's history, right, which is represented here. Um, the reason we're doing this little bit of an exercise is to show you that Chime 2 results are real things on a computer disk, that you can see them, you can see their provenance history. And that is the stuff that we are going to be replaying in this demonstration. Um, this is just a text editor. It lets us see a few things. On the left side of the screen, it lets us see the same files that we were looking at in that file browser. So inside of this phylogenetic emperor plots folder, you see that same QZV that we just viewed in Chime 2 view. Up here, we will eventually be able to see the things that we have reproduced. And in here, we have a terminal window, which will let us see how this all works. I'm going to begin by activating a Conda environment, which is kind of a safe environment on your computer that lets you run software without dependency conflicts with other software. Um, this thing will give us access to provenance replay. Um, provenance replay's command line interface is built around this command replay. So we can ask the program for help text about what commands are available by typing in replay dash dash help. This is a pretty common approach to command line processing. Um, and it gives us a nice list of all the things that we can do. We're going to, for this demonstration, use the replay provenance command. This is a small chunk of what we can do with provenance replay, um, but it is kind of the, the meat and potatoes of what we really need to do here. Um, you'll notice that just now I ran the command replay provenance help. This is gonna give us information on how this command works, what parameters are available and how we can use it. We can do all of this stuff through a Python interface too, and hopefully in the future, a graphical interface. But for now, most Chime 2 users are using a command line interface. So that's what we'll demonstrate. You'll notice there are a lot of options here. Doing replay for multiple users with different needs can be complex, especially when some of those users are uh, humans. Some of those users are potentially machine users, right? They all have very different needs as far as performance, simplicity, the things that get output with results. Um, and the key here is that all of these options with the exception of the first input file path and the last output file path have sensible default values. So in order to run provenance replay, all we need to do is pass in the results we want to replay and where we want to replay them to. And I'll do that right now. We'll start with the replay provenance command. And I think we're looking for something in phylogenetic emperor plots. 
on weighted unifrac emperor.qzv. We're just using tab complete like we usually do. Yes, I do. Thank you. Typing on a screen is the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. <laughs> uh, and this is by default going to produce a script for the command line interface of Chime 2. Um, you can easily change it to produce a script for the Python interface, the Python API. Um, and that software is set up to easily extend to target additional interfaces, graphical interfaces, hopefully in the near future, uh, Jupyter Notebooks as well. Um, and you can see that it's already parsed this thing and created this new file on the left called demo.sh. We'll open that guy up. And the first thing that I notice is there's like a whole bunch of green comment text here, right? The idea is that the outputs of provenance replay should be self-documenting so that a user who just gets handed these outputs still knows what to do with them. It tells us what software was used to make this, what version and what time it was produced. It tells us down at the bottom, the unique identifiers of all of the Chime 2 results that are represented by this script. So we can clearly identify that this guy right here, which is UUID 8B0A, et cetera, et cetera, is represented by this script, 8B, 0A, 7, 8, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, and here you have a set of instructions on how to use this thing. We're not gonna go through all of these, but basically they take you through step-by-step step on how to make this thing run with the data that you want it to run on. In this case, we'll use the original data. Um, I'm using find and replace here per the instructions to identify the places where I need to input some new data. I'm gonna spare you guys that process because it's like a minute or two of very simple but very boring process. To that end, I have already run this and plugged that data in. So we have a script here. The four or five fields that I would be finding and replacing are all already populated in this. And we can, Again, in the instructions, follow, follow the rules of how to do a replay and bash, and then the path to this script will begin rerunning and reproducing the results that we began from. This is gonna take a minute. I'll talk a little bit about other things while it works. But the basic idea is that all of the commands that were originally run are represented here. And as they are rerun, we will get not only the exact output that we started with if we're using the same data um, and if we have a kind of a deterministic process, um, but we will also get any of the intermediate results that led to producing that, um, which gives us a little flexibility about where we go with this stuff. While generating these scripts, Provenance Replay checks the integrity of the original, the replayed Chime 2 results making sure they contain the same data they did when they were originally produced and nothing has changed. You know, we don't have data corruption issues or something like that, and we're not generating a script from corrupt data. And as you can see, we've already got our first output. We have imported some sequence data here. This is gonna carry on in the background. I'm gonna keep the, the conversation going and we're gonna kind of leave this demonstration where it is. Now, if I were a scientist, who was attempting to document my study for reproducibility, I would probably use the reproducibility supplement command instead of just the replay provenance command. And that would give me not only uh, scripts for all of the target interfaces, it would give me a collection of all of the citations for the analysis, package all of that up in a zip file. And in the near future, it will probably also give us some nice things like um, a human readable manifest of all of the commands that were run with better access for attribution. Hey, thank you so much for checking out Provenance Replay today. I will drop some links into the description below that will help you find it and find support for it. We're going to be supporting Provenance Replay through the Chime 2 forum, and I really look forward to hearing what you love about it and how we can make it work better for you. 
Have a nice day.